let's look at this particular water tariff that we do have. It says to us here, um, Mr. Tana received an account bill from the municipality. Study the table extracted from the municipality account statement showing the water. Also, guys, whenever you see municipality statements at home, go through them, look at them, okay? And then you'll see what I'm talking about. Showing the water amount to be paid and answer the questions that follow. So we've got the date over here. We've got the water, um, the service is water, and then we've got the details going on over there. And then it says to us here, the meter reading dates, we've got this meter reading date, and then we've got this meter reading date over there. And then it says here, charge, the charge excluding VAT was 184 Rand and 66. And then with the VAT included, 210 Rand and 51 cents. And then we've got our nice tariff, condition thing going on over there and it six, says to us here six kiloliters um at nine comma nine four one two zero and then it says here four kiloliters at ten um comma so on and so on and then the next 10 kiloliters and the next 10 kiloliters and the next 30 plus so in this particular case what they actually mean is that the first six kiloliters so here is actually the first six kiloliters and the following four kiloliters and so on and so on i love this one because it's already given to us so we don't need to go and calculate um the kiloliters so stunning okay so before we can do that, let's read this question. Um, can you see how I went and I analyzed? I analyzed it first and now we're going in and we're going to um, calculate. So it says to us here, calculate the amount of VAT due, okay? Calculate the amount of VAT due. So value added tax and it says charged for water tariff given. So in this particular, um, let's look at this. It says to us here that this is VAT excluded, this is VAT included. So this is without, I mean, this is with the VAT now in it. So we want to know how much VAT was charged, okay? I'm going to call that 1.3.1. So we know that it's 210 VAT included, 0.51 minus that excluded that's going to give us how much the vat is in this particular case so let's go and calculate that 210.51 minus 184.66 so the vat that was charged here was 25 rand 85 cents since 1.3.2 1.3.2 says to us show all your calculations how the total amount of 184.66 was calculated so now we want to see how how we how that amount was calculated let me show you let's see and that that mark is out of four so we want to know how this was calculated and obviously this was calculated um, from the reading that was given over here if I go to a place and the reading at that time is 2384 and then I go back a month later is it a month later um, let's see no it says to us that this was the previous one so it was 2368 and then it says to us that when the person came back, which is the current, then it was sitting on 2,384. So we need to subtract those with each other so that we can find out how much water was consumed um, in that case. So it says to us here, 16 kiloliters of water were consumed. Um, I wonder if we can go and calculate that just to prove it to ourselves, okay? So it's going to be... Um, 2,384, mm, not divide, sorry, 2,384 minus 2,368, 16, so it is true, 16 kiloliters of water were consumed, um, so now we're going to use this tariff over here to help us 
with this particular thing. So the, the tariff says to us, I'm going to do some rough work on the side here. I don't know if it's, okay, let's, let's do that, guys. Ne? Six kilo, 16 kiloliters is what we started with. For the first six kiloliters, so for the first six kiloliters, we are going to pay nine. Okay, let me not put it in rhymes. Let me just put it the way it's given to us. We're going to pay nine. Comma nine four one two three zero plus for the next four kiloliters. So what I'm trying to do here is not gonna work. Okay. So the next four kiloliters, so you just need to count with me. Ten comma one three six one eight zero nice big numbers so now if you add the six and this four it gives you ten meaning that we left with six but let's see what the table says to us it says for the next 10 kiloliters you're going to pay that 14 comma um zero seven seven and so on so we've got six left so because we've got that six left we use the six as it is because we don't have another ten Multiplied by 14, comma, 0, 7, 7, 8, 3, 0. If I go and I add the 6 and this 4 and the 6, they need to give me the 16 kiloliters over there. I hope I'm, I'm clear, guys, because I know tariffs are really daunting and I want you guys to understand what I'm doing. Okay, so here, 6, I'm going to put them in brackets. Should I put them in brackets or should I um, work it out? Sometimes it's good to work it out, but I'm going to put them in brackets to save us on time. Okay? 6 times 9,94. Uh, delete. 1, 2, 3, 0. Nice long numbers, as I said. Plus. Open bracket. Let's come this side. Four times ten comma one three six one eight zero plus this side again. I don't want to miss any of my numbers, guys. I hope it works out. Okay, it does work out. Um, six times fourteen point zero seven seven eight three zero. That gives us 184 rand, 0.66. Oh my goodness, I love it when I get things correctly. <laughs> 184 rand, 0.66. I kid you not, look at that answer over there. 184 rand and 66. Stunning. Don't you just love it um, when you go and you get things correct? So in this particular case, we've went and we've gotten that correctly. So that's how you would calculate your tariff.